Hello everyone. I'm Sachi. Every time I return to my hometown, I meet new people. In fact, I now know more people than I did when I actually lived there. I think it's because I meet people who are well connected, which is why I end up meeting so many new faces. From just one person, I've been able to make more and more connections like branches growing from a tree. Thanks to these connections, I was able to take many videos of people in need this year. And I'm very grateful to those who helped create these encounters. However, I feel a bit guilty because I can't offer them much in return. I don't have many friends or acquaintances, so I can't really say, in return, I'll introduce you to someone I know. I hope I can find another way to repay the kindness of those who have helped me. In Japan, there are many Emusubi shrines, and whenever I see one, I pray for good connections. Maybe those prayers have contributed to my success? Generally, Emusubi is associated with romantic encounters, but in my opinion, it has broader meanings. It can represent meeting people from different walks of life, such as elders, young people with values I had never imagined, or people who come from environments opposite to mine. The places and the moments that lead to these meanings are also part of Emusubi. All of these encounters help me grow, which is why they are so important and necessary to me. That said, I don't always want to be around people. I usually enjoy spending time alone. Rather than living a constantly stimulating life where something is always happening, I prefer peaceful, quiet days with just a little bit of stimulation here and there. Lately, I've been staying at home all the time and calling myself a hermit would be an understatement. I don't go anywhere, I just spend my days doing what I want. Studying languages, reading books, watching movies, and sometimes making things. Recently, I've been really into keywords like additive-free and reusable. So, I've been making my own seasonings and trying to avoid wasting materials. Even though I don't leave the house, I still wear kimono and enjoy myself in my own way. I hardly see anyone, but this is pretty much my ideal way to spend time. Some people say you'll get bored of this eventually, or it must be stressful only having your partner to talk to. But it's been a few years now, and I'm still not bored. I actually feel good and comfortable every day. In fact, it might be more stressful for me to have to take the train back to my hometown where there are just too many people. By the way, I do meet people online a few times a week, so it's not like I don't talk to anyone besides my partner. Large gatherings, even with people I know, make me nervous for some reason. That nervousness in itself makes me uncomfortable, which is why being around a lot of people stresses me out. It's not something I can easily overcome, and it's easier to be alone than to try to get used to socializing. When you are involved with many people, Naturally, some will click with you and some won't. That's inevitable. Before I understood this, I had a self-centered way of thinking. I used to think, 
Why don't people think the same way I do? Why can't things be better? I always thought I was right. I lack the desire to understand others. People are who they are, and I know who am I. If there are 10 people, there are 10 different ways of thinking, and that's only natural. While I've come to understand this, I also realize that even if I make an effort to change myself, others won't necessarily change. Some people will try to impose their values on me, and if I get caught up in my emotions, I become a very unpleasant person. Knowing this, I like to keep a bit of distance from others. I do need to meet new people, but I prefer being alone. It's a contradiction. The longer I spend with someone, the more we see each other's flaws. I don't want to discover my friend's negative traits, nor do I want them to see mine. I don't want to disappoint them. At the best, I think of this as a form of self-preservation, a way to avoid unnecessary conflict. I don't want to be exhausted by negative feelings toward others. When I'm alone, nothing happens to me, and that's why I like solitude. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time I upload videos every Saturday if you enjoy this. Please consider subscribing. Thank you.